When I first went into the area that was affected, I was hurt. It was amazement, it was sadness, it was every emotion that you could think of just going through your head. It was a shocker. Some people that I talked to walked out of their houses with nothing. They were in their underwear, no clothes, no wallet. I mean, complete chaos. The announcement came on the radio that a tornado was intimate to hit in the downtown area of Joplin. And it was not until 9.30 I found out that evening that everything was destroyed. I never had a fear that we would close our store. I knew we'd get up and we'd continue to go on. When we first were started trying to retrieve some more information out of the store that was destroyed by the tornado and find some information we have to keep records of the customers we've had, our customer base, our business base, it had all our connections. It's just not just a store, it's a family. We never canceled a sale, and my goal was to be up as quick as possible. After I found this location following the tornado, only six days later, we had our first customer that Friday afternoon. Gathered up approximately 400 pairs of shoes from the Red Wing Shoe Company, and they deliver these shoes here to two volunteer groups in our town. We really saw the value and the ethic of work. The community stepped up more than you would believe. We had help here in our store to restock our shelves. It was amazing. The whole community, I think, came together and grew. There's volunteers from all around the United States. All the sources that they gave us, we couldn't have done it by ourselves. That's one thing about Joplin, they have the resolve to rebuild. When the tornado first hit, I was like, it'll take five, six years before Joplin will ever look anything close to normal. And it's only been close to a year, and it's already looking tremendous from what it did look like. I think just every trade worked together. It doesn't matter if you're a plasterer or a plumber or a mason. Just everyone worked together, whatever it takes. The amount of time we take on a job now, we've tried to, to speed ourselves up just so we can help with the recovery process. You know, just really get Joplin, not to what it was, but to what it will be. Whatever great catastrophe that follows in our country, I think they'll look back at Joplin and see how these people responded here. <laughs>